Shalom, shalom, and welcome to today's spooky story from the Bible. Today we're going to be talking about the prophet Ezekiel. Now, Ezekiel had a lot of really wild visions, but the one that we're going to be talking about right now is the army of the dead. In Ezekiel chapter 37, God takes him to a valley that's covered in bones, and he asks Ezekiel if he thinks that those bones can be brought back to life, to which Ezekiel replies, you're the only one that knows that. God tells Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones that they'll be brought back, and he does, and all of the bones start rattling and reconnecting. Not only that, but the bones start growing tendons and muscles and skin covers them, and they're basically restored to how they were before they died. Now, even though these bodies have been restored, they haven't been resurrected yet. So God tells Ezekiel to prophesy to them that the breath of life will return to them. Ezekiel does, and the bodies are brought back to life. And God tells Ezekiel that these are the bodies of the house of Israel. He also tells Ezekiel that he will open the graves of the Israelites and resurrect them. This prophecy is often interpreted as the bodies being the Israelites in dispersion and them being resurrected as the reunification of the tribes. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how of all of the prophets in the Bible, Ezekiel was definitely one of the ones that God used some really wild and sometimes spooky imagery to express his thoughts to. I mean, imagine standing in a valley, an entire valley, full of bones, and then seeing those bones turn back into people, and then seeing all of those people come back to life. That's a pretty profound image.